Hello, human peoples. You're listening to the podcast network of Gamefully Unemployed. Support us and gain access to great exclusive podcasts like Fox Mulder is a Maniac, Tom and Jeff Watch Batman, Star Trek The Next Futurama, and our latest show, Spiel Boys. Head over to patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. We do game streaming, movie nights with our patrons every Friday night, and you can even commission your own podcast about anything you want. Literally anything, within reason, and we have to do it. You are quite frankly out of excuses not to go visit patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. That's patreon.com slash G-A-M-E-F-U-L-L-Y unemployed, which is spelled like it sounds. Halbkast mit Tom Reimann und David Bell. Until we begin, are we? Is this it? Are we beginning? I think this is the beginning. G G yeah. G G baby. Um. All right. Uh. Well. Hello, everyone. Hello. What about the episode of Hype Cast? Hype. Oh, Cast. it's the show where we get hyped about stuff and things. I'm your co-host, Tom Ryman. I'm your other co-host, David Bell. Mm. Mm. David and a third Bell. person. Who is this third person? I'm a I'm a gray ghost, baby. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, you know me, Tom and Dave. We, we work do. together the entirety of uh, of our good years. Yeah, um, yeah. Our, all... our best years, and they are long our best over. Best years, with. and they are well past us. Yeah. Oh. Uh, What's your name? What's your name? Robert, Robert Evans. Evans. <laughs> Robert Evans. Yeah. We did some some good lists together. Oh yeah. Now yeah, we like. Sure did. My body is just a sack of like dusty oats. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh dusty yeah, oats, worm-ridden a oats. Bag of rags. Mm-hmm. But at least we got to all watch that Transformers movie where Michael Bay informs everyone of Texas's Romeo and Juliet law. Together. Yes, That's he true. didn't want us. He didn't want us to forget that, and so we shouldn't <laughs> sure let didn't. people forget it as well. We yeah. cannot. He made, <laughs> he made sure we never forgot that image. So how has <laughs> that not been more of a Me Too thing? Like with everything <laughs> going on, what? How did that motherfucker slide under the radar? I don't know. It might be the single most bizarre thing to ever happen in <laughs> yeah, cinema. It's... It, it's, it's hard to explain. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wouldn't say. I think it's easy to explain. It is easy. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It's hard to properly discuss. But you know what else is hard to properly discuss? Are you doing an some, ad segue? Some of these. Some of these <laughs> movies today. Oh. In the, in the hype cast. <laughs> I thought you were throwing to ads. We're like, we don't I just have can't those stop here, Robert. Segue and man, I do it all the time. <laughs> recording this machine. on a segue. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, like how, the guy who bought the Segway company, I am veering on a Segway off of a Scottish <laughs> cliff as we record. That's that's another moment where it's like, I can't believe that happened. Yeah, it really did happen. <laughs> that the inventor of a Segway died. No, the like, guy who bought it. The guy who bought oh, okay. Segway from bought the, the inventor. Company. Yeah, Trove yeah. his Segway that's, off so, the fucking, fucking cliff. cliff. That's some Dr. That's Frankenstein incredible. shit. It really is, yeah. He chased the Segway into the Arctic. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he flew too close to the sun. He segued too close to the sun. <laughs> Ground level. Oh my goodness! <laughs> he tried to jump a curb and just exploded. Mm-hmm. Um, oh man, we should probably start the episode, Dave. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, we should probably start. The All episode. right. Well, we we have producers we need to thank first. So I'm gonna all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna give us some shout outs. Uh, big thank you to DJ Finney. Mm. Uh, thank you to the Indignant Eel. Thank you to Look Ma, I'm on a podcast. Thank you to Children Love the Meat Millie. Yes, they do. Mm. Uh, thank you to Grumblebee. Thank you to Screaming Horse Pyramid. <laughs> thank you to Del Griffith, the shower curtain fella. Mm. Thank you to Lef. Thank you to Seismic Charge Noise. Blam. Thank you to Deborah is Awesome, Barbara is Great, and Cancer Can Go to Hell. Thank you to Numino, Mo- Numino Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis Jones. Thank you to the baby from Eraserhead. Thank you to Chiz Lily Tits. Thank you to these seven bees. Right, Thank let me, you. Let me jump in here. Thank you to Breezy Reezy. Thank, Thank you to Davy Francis for the revenge. Thank you. Thank you to MVB. Thank you. Thank you to Chester's Prophet. 
Thank, Thank you. Thank you to definitely not Guillermo del Toro. Thank, Thank you. Thank you to Brian, who Tom knows. Thank, Thank you. Thank you to Bob Grenville. Thanks. Thank you to Steven. Thank you. Thank you to Down Home Chicken. Thank, Thank you to you. Han Toomey, the Confused Cyborg. Thank you. Thank you to Asking Seven. Thank you. Thank you to Happy Ed 209. Thank you. Thank you to Tom and Dave for good writers. Follow them at Collider and some more news. Thank you. Thank you to Tiger Doors, Pratt Thompson. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Thank you. Thank you to Dan Hackroyd. Thank you. Woo! Oh, shit. Okay. Mm, so many okay. answers. I am glad that there's a happy Ed 209 in your fan. I always felt like he got done dirty by those movies because he didn't do anything wrong. No. No, he just he tried to climb wrong. some stairs. He, he, just tried he to... fulfilled his programming. Yeah. yeah. He shot a motherfucker in a suit. <laughs> exactly. Yeah he, yeah. he shot one of the Reagan 80s corporate overlords. Yeah. How mm-hmm. it's, it's impossible for me to conceive of a world in which that guy didn't deserve it. Exactly. Yeah. Like if yeah. Ed 209 is the hero of that film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guns ter- down Reaganomics Lamborghini. <laughs> Say, he terrorized uh, a room full of Reaganomics personified. So yeah, yeah. honestly, he was the hero. He was. Uh, uh, yeah, we you got guys, some trailers. Yeah, you guys want to talk about the Batman? Sure. Yeah. It's the a, Batman. It's another Batman. It's another Batman. It is another Batman. Gritty yeah, Riddler. It's another Batman. Yep. The uh, Riddler. The Riddler. The Riddler. Yeah. yeah. It's you know what the, my problem with this is. I love all of the I loved all of the Batman movies up to a point, mm-hmm. including mm-hmm. the ones that were like Batman and Robin, which is objectively one of the worst crafted movies ever made. But it's mm-hmm. very it's, entertaining. It's so delightful, watch. yeah. It's yeah, it's very fun. The fun thing about them is they all felt like extremely different movies. The Tim Burton movies, the Joel Schumacher movies, the 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 what's his name, the guy who made the Nolan, Nolan. Chris Nolan, Nolan, and then we got the Nolan movies. And obviously, like everyone else, I loved the first two, and then the third was. A movie. Um, <laughs> it's a motion and picture. After that, everyone was just like, "Well, the only Batman movies for now on are, are Christopher Nolan movies. Yes, they're, they're, they're all going to have the same the same kind of sound, the same darkness. It's the same like the city's coming apart at the seams, you know. Yeah. They, and I just and that's fine because people like and, and I think the people who like that this seems like it'll be a, another enjoyable Batman movie for them. But they. Um, yeah. yeah, they seem to be trying to out gritty each other. I yeah. I did yeah. notice in this trailer, half of the lines are some of the most cliche lines. Yeah, oh, for sure. Uh, I I do want like someone to bring back the campy Batman because yeah, Schumacher wasn't fucking, the only one yeah. who did that. Do yeah, yeah, give us another Batman sixty six movie. Too yeah, sweet. Yeah, g- get it weird, like fucking or or take it another. Give um. Guillermo del Toro a Batman movie and say you can put some Lovecraft shit in it. Why not? Make yeah, it weird. Like, Make let, Batman let, solve a space monster. Yeah, mystery. let, let like, the bat suit have like a weird spiny yeah. dick on it. I don't know. Let me give me something new. <laughs> That's all yeah. I want. I get I get why they don't because new is terrifying to them, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So yeah, like thinking what half a billion dollars in any of these get uh, probably yeah. yeah yeah they're their own and economies. The, at least a couple hundred million. You know? Yeah yeah. And the only like flamboyant Batmans have been seen as a failure mm-hmm. yeah, which isn't yeah. fair because batman forever i believe it was a huge hit it was the yeah. fucking, yeah, most the successful of those four i like, think wacky looking and great yeah uh, fucking danny devito is the goddamn penguin i forget which director that was but i remember danny oh, that, was, DeVito that was tim burton that was tim, that was tim burton, shit. burton. Yeah. yeah yeah that was fucking amazing and um, we're making so many of these like it's like why yeah, give not? us some weird ones. Yeah, get a little yeah. weird with it. I don't give know. Give us a weird Batman. Give us, do one of those, the comic ones where like Batman's a Soviet, like a KGB agent or some shit. Like, right. Like, why not? Like, and at this point, we'll watch it. Exactly. And DC, yeah. DC is in a, it's one of the only advantages DC has over Marvel right now is that yeah. DC is not, Anywhere near as married to a con- to one official continuity like Marvel is. Like yeah. everything Marvel does has to connect into their MCU. But DC yeah. is able to do all these other kind of weird one offs and things that don't necessarily connect, but maybe they could at some point. It's it's their biggest strength. Ex- that's yeah, yeah, that's what I said. It's, it's the yeah. they have more freedom than Marvel does, so they could just do a fucking weird Batman. Like we got that yeah. we got that stupid Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie when there's all when Jared Leto is also playing the Joker in different yeah. movies. Why not? Like, Why not? I haven't seen a superhero movie in years at this point. But if they're like, hey, we're doing a Batman movie where he gets thrown back in time and has to fight Jack the Ripper in 1800s England, I'd be like, yeah, I'm seeing, I'm <laughs> seeing yeah. that motherfucker opening day. Yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> Robert, that's an seems... actual. That's Gotham by Gaslight. That's an actual story. I know, story. I watched that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that mm-hmm. sounds like an incredible movie. <laughs> and put Tim Burton in the driver's seat. Sure. Yeah, Who gives a it. shit? Yeah. 
It really let seems him fight like Sweeney Todd. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, Batman God, musical. let him fight Sweeney Batman Todd. Batman musical. Sure. Yeah. No, it, it seems yeah. like every pitch meeting for Batman is just someone comes in and is like, "What if we made it dark?" And they're yeah. like, Ooh. "What if we made it?" It's like they have a dimmer switch. They keep yeah. slightly adjusting at each yeah. time they meet to discuss Batman. Yeah, yeah. And nothing against the the dark Batman movies. I like, like I love the Dark Knight. You sure. know, they were all those were fun movies. But like, I had enough. Yeah, I would yeah. like yeah, a that's... different kind of Batman movie. It has been 13 years since The yeah. Dark Knight. Let's try something it's, different. I don't know. It's almost yeah. unfair to this movie because this movie doesn't look half bad. No, no, it looks, it's, it's again, for people looking for what this movie is, I'm sure it's going to be perfectly fine. Right. I, and I yeah. do, like this trailer, I, 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 I mean, this, I, this trailer I gives me, uh, like, I'm excited for this movie. Like, as a somebody who does a Batman podcast and yeah. watches a lot of Batman, this looks like a cool movie. I hope it makes good on kind of what this trailer is promising and that it's going to be kind of uh, like, a, like a weird um, uh, mystery. Right, a detective, like an act, like uh, a detective movie. story, and that would be really cool yeah. to do with Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm sure, again, it, I don't. Nothing about this looks bad. I just, you know, would like it, a different tone. I, I'm really, yeah, I'm it's really still sick like, of Batman saying the city needs me in different ways. Right, like, I'm right. slamming, on the edge of collapse. slamming does his fist. Be, yeah, and does being like, what are you doing? Does like, it need maybe to be? Does it need to yeah. be that dire? Yeah, yeah. It could just be a guy's uh, fucking wacky. Character is stealing calendars right. or some Can't shit. Can't it just like, be the Riddlers at it again? Yeah, no, the Riddlers like the doing Riddler on the shit. Of collapse. Yeah, yeah. I don't it's, need the, yeah. It's it looks like a it's like a delicious cheesecake, but I've eaten cheesecake for the last ten years. Yeah, that's yeah. all. It's that's, just that's like real, yeah, that's really it. Every, every I'm individual sure this cheesecake is great, but I'm yeah. sick of it. Every individual piece of this movie looks good. All the people yeah. look good. The 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 style, like the the cinematography and then the the shot composition and the colors look cool. Mm. Um, it, it's just you know, I'm, it's just the I'm, I'm feeling in the a, overall superhero fatigue, but like dark yeah. Batman fatigue as well. I'm like, all right, who, who is this Batman? Is this Andrew Garfield? Is that what people say? No, no this is Bobby no. Bobby Patterson. Oh, Robert Patterson. I don't know why yeah. I thought. Andrew Garfield. Yeah, he seems fine. Yeah, like he seems like he he looks like the Batman's have been looking for the last twenty years, um, I, which is I fine. Have, I don't have any complaints. Yeah, he's, he's, I have a controversial take. That one shot where he's yelling through the window. Oh, yeah, I thought that, he looked a little silly. Great. That looked yeah. pretty silly. Yeah, him as it, it's going to be rough. Him as Bruce Wayne because he doesn't like, and I think it's like what's his name? Um, fucking um. The, the the Nolan Batman guy Christian, Christian Bale. Bale yeah Christian Bale one of the most famous men in the world I just spaced on his name for a second <laughs> don't worry he, he 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 looked great both as Batman and as Bruce Wayne yeah I think um uh, uh Ben Affleck looks is an incredible Bruce Wayne and I don't I think is kind of a silly looking Batman um and this guy I think looks fine as Batman and probably will look silly as Bruce Wayne yeah. Yeah, I mean, my yeah. The only thing that makes me nervous is all the dialogue in this trailer. I yeah, the dialogue's like, not great. Bad. Some, yeah, I mean, some of it was cool. Like I liked, I liked everything Colin Farrell was saying. Yeah, yeah, Colin as Farrell. The penguin. But I suspect he Colin might be the Farrell type to. Is the pe- Good. Yep, yeah, that is, that is Farrell. Colin Farrell under oh, a mountain Lord. of facial oh, makeup, Lord. prosthetics. Yes. Just- Give us Danny DeVito again. Come on. Well, they you straight know up, what we want. They, they, <laughs> people have already made this observation, but they glued enough shit on his face to the point where he just looks like Richard Kind. So just cast <laughs> Richard Kind if that's what yeah. you're going for. <laughs> just like, cast an actor who looks like again, that. Have, have Danny DeVito play Penguin and have Charlie Day play the Riddler. And mm-hmm. I don't really care what else happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just give me that. Yeah, go from there. Mm-hmm. I, I did like, because it's Paul Dano as um, uh, the Riddler, and I saw someone point out on Twitter, like, he already looks like the type of motherfucker who would bug you with riddles, mm-hmm. so it, it works really well. Oh, he's well. perfect. Yeah, he's perfect yeah. for the Riddler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, no, he, I, he, he, he seems well cast, yeah. 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 It, it's... Yeah. It's, I, 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 it's It looks fine. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the... I have no complaints about it. It just yeah. is like, well, this is not what I want from a Batman movie if I'm going to see another Batman movie, personally. Yeah. yeah. There's the the problem with superhero films is they still have this built-in support where it's it's hard to critique them on a level of like a film, you know, where it's like, oh, the dialogue's bad. Most people will be like, bah, who cares? It's Batman. Uh, but I don't know. I think that stuff needs to matter 
and so I, I I'm I'm still on the fence about this, but that's probably because I'm just seeing trailers of it. So mm-hmm. we'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, op- I'm optimistic. Like I said, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I watch Batman regularly as part of my job. Yeah, and this is a new <laughs> so, Batman. This is a new Batman, and it, right. it could, looks like it could be. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. A, a yeah. version, uh, you know, the tone is is a retread, but like if it's an actual, yeah. if it makes good on what the trailer is is promising and what the director has said about it, and that it's actual yeah. mystery, then that that'll be something that we haven't seen before in a Batman movie, like him solving an actual mystery. Yeah, yeah. that There's would be a- cool. Yeah, there's a significant number of people who are happy with gritty Batman and just want to see Batman solve a mi- r- mystery in a competent movie. And I'm happy for them if this winds up being a good version of that. If it's like seven, but Batman. That would be sweet. Uh, now, that would be, I would be into that if shit. it's literally just seven, but you cut out, I don't know, Morgan Freeman <laughs> and replace him with Batman. <laughs> leave Kevin Spacey in. Yeah, leave Kevin Spacey. You never cut out Spacey. No, but yeah, I cut <laughs> out Morgan in. Freeman. <laughs> uh, Let's move on. We got he finds we got Robin's here. head in a box. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, Peacemaker. That's the next trailer. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, uh, this, this actually looks great. This looks <laughs> what is pre- this a spinoff of? I've never the heard of this. Suicide the Suicide Squad. Squad. The Suicide oh, Squad. Oh, I, I didn't watch any of those, but this looks you fun. Would, uh, Robert, I think the new The Suicide Squad, not Suicide Squad, The Suicide Squad. The, the Suicide one, Squad. Yeah, I, think I love that I we think get to be specific. Yeah. I think you'd quite enjoy that because I okay. think it's... It's a version of superheroes that's just like complete chaos. And yeah, this is uh, an offshoot of that. And yeah, this looks similarly like utter chaos. Yeah, it's way. it's it's also done by James Gunn. So yeah. Oh, it's, James. Well, you yeah. He well he he words. did the yeah. he did the Suicide Squad. So you should okay. watch that. Yeah. All right, I may give that a shot. But this <laughs> looks. Uh, you know, I. I keep finding this happening. It happened most recently before. Um, um, oh shit! What's this? I can't believe I'm spacing it. The big wrestler guy uh, who's Dave Bautista. Oh no, no, no. Uh, Cena. Oh, John Cena. Who I was talking about. But John yeah, Cena. John Cena. But Dave Bautista is the other one. Like, I I find myself really enjoying like big meathead wrestler guy who becomes an actor and takes it very seriously and it actually is quite good. Yeah. Um. And John Cena and Dave Bautista are both like very competent actors that I've I find myself really enjoying everything they're in. Um, well, yeah. It's also because I feel like there was the days of like Hulk Hogan in movies. Or even to an extent, The Rock now, where it's it's. I mean, The Rock's great, but there's this element of like they want to maintain a dignity, like especially Hulk Hogan and all his movies. There's no conflict because he has to always just kick ass. Yeah, it's like Seagal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whereas Dave Bautista and John Cena, like they don't mind playing like pathetic, you know, like sad characters or like flawed people. Uh, and they're nailing it. And he, yeah, John mm-hmm. Cena with Peacemaker is fucking nailing yeah, it. Yeah, he, 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 this looks very fun. Um, it looks very well cast. One of the things that excited me most about the trailer was just, like, I actually tend to not like a lot of, like, gun stuff in movies because I think it's usually lazily done. Um, yeah. Like, I'm not, uh, 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 what I enjoyed was the scene where they're in the woods dicking around shooting random shit because like that's what it actually looks like if you're into right. like hanging out with your friends shooting in the woods like I, I do I do that every month like and it literally is with the exception of pretending to have a dick while someone shoots at it because that's the kind of thing you <laughs> usually don't do but like I, I enjoyed that like that was like yeah. oh somebody like got somebody got like I don't know didn't didn't feel the need to like um Felt, characterized them with their weapons in a way that actually characterized them as opposed to was like, and this guy can kill people too. Just like, oh yeah, they're fucking around with guns because they're they're big they're big children. Um, right. Yeah, that's fun. I liked that. That that speaks uh, says something about the movie. I think. It, it's oh yeah. Exciting. Yeah. It's also not James Gunn without that random extra usually animal character the bald eagle in this case the <laughs> fucking oh, yeah, bald the eagle. eagle hugging him that oh, was very shit. funny yeah and the fucking uh, the vigilante dude who has kind of a little bit of a deadpool vibe or at least right. more of a, honestly, more, a ryan reynolds vibe um yeah it seems great I, I i might actually this might be the first superhero movie i see in quite a while yeah this this looks really fun it's yeah. actually a, it's a series Oh shit! Oh right, right, right. So this is like a. It's on gonna, HBO. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fucking rad. That sounds like exactly what I want to watch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really excited for Peacemaker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. Very fun. <laughs> That's great. Um, and 
James Gunn is one of those few directors where I, I will just kind of see stuff if he's the guy doing it. Because like, well, it's James Gunn. Yeah, he, absolutely. He doesn't fuck up often. Yeah. No, no. He, no, yeah, he always he always entertains. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, next trailer is for Bruised. This is is this no. directed by Halle Berry? It is directed by Halle Berry. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's like uh, it's like uh, this this. This yeah, she's a she's MMA, a former yeah UFC fighter. Yeah, UFC fighter. Yeah, yeah, who has to like deal with having a kid now and doing a comeback. And gets into, looks well, emotional. But like a, a, I don't know if it's a comeback because it looks like she's getting into like illegal underground fights, probably where people get like killed and stuff. That's part right. of it. And then like the trailer ends with her trying to oh, go right. from that to get back yeah. into like legitimate fights now that she has this kid to take care of. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I, I don't know. I thought this looked. I was kind of into this. Like, I like, because this is a story we've seen told a million times, but from a man's point of view. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess there's there's a million stories about dudes and this, oh, I got a kid I didn't know about. Now I got to be a dad to this kid. I guess I got to try to put my life back together. It's a story we see a lot, but we (laughs) we it's always some dude. (laughs) (laughs) So I I really like that it's Halle Berry. Yeah, uh, it feels to I me. just think she's a good actress and she's she going to do yeah, a great, great job. Yeah, she's always I'm, good and stuff. Yeah, I'm not into sports movies generally. No. Uh, I, I don't think I'll watch this, but um, it I don't it doesn't. There's nothing about it that seems anything less than a well made movie. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah, good. Hard the, agree. The, the uh the choreography looks really good if you're into fighting, ultimate fighting. Uh, yeah, I I'm not, but. <laughs> I I fighting yeah it's fine I yeah, don't know I I like watching uh uh you know what I like to watch what's my fighting we you actually do know this because when we all get fired I I put on my my favorite thing which oh is yeah ski ski mm. fail videos and base right. jumping fails <laughs> in yeah. a way I think that's I get fighting out of that what people it's... yeah they're fighting gravity in this. yeah exactly <laughs> I think nineteen <laughs> percent of the people in those videos hubris. did not survive oh but... <laughs> yeah. And I just found a new set of ones where they're they're doing like gliding fails, and so like nearly every one of them ends with like an open fracture. Like it's oh yeah, the fucking the best. Robert, have you watched? I feel like we've had this discussion, but parkour fails. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, because that's really like hubris oh, those related. Are gnarly. Yeah, yeah. People really get messed up in parkour failure. Yeah. 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 God, I love that shit. So anyway, if you like parkour <laughs> fails, you should check out the trailer for Bruised. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. God, they should make a movie called Bruised that's yeah, just parkour, just parkour fails. fails. That's like Jesus. that's like a, a former parkour parkour fails. Uh, uh, champion who was really good at injuring themselves doing parkour who has to come yeah. back to it to feed their kid. Yeah, Watching and parkour I to break more. my bones better than I've ever broken them before. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get back to the top of my game. Shatters his rib cage. <laughs> watching parkour, like the level of hubris uh, of parkour fails is like watching uh, NASA disasters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you you I, tried to spite God and he mm, slapped you down. You aimed real high and you missed. <laughs> I think the best part about parkour fails is if you don't know what parkour is, it just looks like people trying purposefully to hurt themselves. Mm-hmm, yeah, because it's like someone running up a wall. Walls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like what what was what, am what I were you trying to achieve? Yeah. I yeah, want to sit like, somebody from the past. I want to sit like Abe Lincoln down and make him watch parkour <laughs> fails just well, to see what funny. he thinks of it. Because that that in that Shyamalan movie where the plants make everyone kill themselves predates yeah. people knowing about parkour. You could have just cut out all of the scenes of people dying in that movie and replaced them with parkour <laughs> just fails. Doing parkour. <laughs> it would have worked just as well. <laughs> Some guy parkouring into that lawnmower. <laughs> oh man, oh, John what Leguizamo a parkouring through the windshield of that car. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! God, I love that shit. Beautiful um, film. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Uh, uh, speaking so of yeah. parkour fails, no, that doesn't work. No. Uh, next trailer is Being the Ricardos. Yeah. This is an Aaron Sorkin film this uh, starring Nicole Kidman. It's, it's yeah. uh, Nicole Kidman and Javier Bardem as uh, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Uh, it's about like it takes place over six days. It's about the filming of a single episode of I Love Lucy, and it's what a weird. Well, it's about I the. I guess da- that makes sense. It's about yeah. like their what led to them splitting apart and sort of like the downfall of the show, but it's just encapsulated within the six day production of this one episode. Right. Which is a cool idea, except it one, it's Aaron Sorkin, which is already, ooh. And then two, it's like, 
they do this thing in the trailer where they're hiding Nicole Kidman's face. Like you don't actually ever get to really see her face clearly as Lucille Ball, as yeah. if she's fucking Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Yeah, as if, it's as like if she's the they're Joker. They're hiding a reveal or something. It's like, no, she's Lucille Ball, one of the most famous women of the 20th century. Here's like, what I'll we say. We are aware of what she looks like. Why are we doing this? Yeah. I'd, I'd rather have Aaron Sorkin making stuff like this than his political thrillers oh, or yeah, his protest yeah. movies. Like, he ain't hurting anybody doing this. Let him. I hope this makes all the money and he has to make five Ricardo movies. Yeah. And it just keeps him busy. The Ricardo cinematic universe. Yeah. 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 I, uh, I don't know. I One of the things that I think is probably uh, going to be a little frustrating about this is that because Aaron Sorkin is Aaron Sorkin, I doubt any of this is going to deal with the fact that, like, Lucille Ball registered as a communist and got, like, attacked by the House on American Activities Community and uh, Committee and investigated by the FBI. And, like, um, it was a huge deal for the show, actually. It nearly got it canceled. Um, that sounds interesting. Yeah, that's, that's what I would have assumed if you said we're making a, sh- a movie about Lucille Ball. I'd be like, oh, is it about, like, this battle that she had with censorship? Um, but it, it could be. Yeah. They could mention yeah, that still, it, but I, I again, I in the trailer, but, don't know if yeah. I trust Aaron Sorkin uh, yeah. to handle that. Yeah. But that does, yeah, that does seem more fascinating. But it, it definitely seems like it's more the the case of like, look how powerful she is, and yeah. we're going to talk about her that. Well, in, uh, maybe, maybe. in her relationship, maybe she's got like a fascinating life because, like, her it, when she was a kid, like her brother accidentally shot somebody with a rifle he'd gotten for Christmas, and it like bankrupted the family. Um, Damn, she w- she actually only registered as a communist because her grandpa was like a hardcore socialist Eugene V. Debs voter, and she was like trying to please him. Like, there's this whole her life's really interesting, so I think it's a good topic for a movie. I just Aaron Sorkin is not who I would. The reason I say, I think specifically the reason Aaron Sorkin isn't who I would pick for this is because of what he's decided to do. Like it makes sense that he would want to do this as the filming of a single episode because he did that horrible show uh, that was like about the filming of Saturday Night Live, basically. Studio but, sixty on the was that him? But, but everything's really intense. Yeah, Studio sixty on the Sunset Strip or some okay. shit like that. Yeah, there was like yeah. two of that came out at the same time. I can't yeah. remember which one was which. And, How and, many? and my guess is that that's the the vibe this will have. Right. Oh wait, he also did the newsroom, and that's it, right? Those are the only two he's done about like making. Yeah, the media. newsroom, which was. Yeah. Oh uh, no, bad. sport sports night. Sports night. Oh right. So he, he's obsessed with this idea. He likes. Yeah, and that kind of makes me think that he will be focusing on the stuff that's least interesting about a really interesting. Yeah, person. I yeah. I have to admit this kind of shit is catnip for me. Like stuff about old timey Hollywood. Like I eat that up. <laughs> so right. like I'm gonna watch this movie. I hope it's it's using that framework to say to explore a more significant yeah. uh, element of Lucille Ball's life. But we can't tell from this trailer. Yeah, it's very yeah. hard to tell. Yeah, um, it's. Yeah, it's very possible that it's just going to be him giving Hollywood a pat on the back. Yeah, look at how good Hollywood is. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll yeah see. this mm-hmm. this is oddly this is one of those cases where it's like I don't I need to see a little more. Mo- yeah. Usually trailers say too much. Yeah, this is one where it's like yeah, like you said, it's, they're treating her like she's the Joker. Or something. Right, like it's like a we're, we're, we've been so trailerized yeah. by a uh, yeah. Marvel culture that it's like they're hiding her face like she's fucking Spider Man. It's like come on. Yeah, just tell us what the movie's about. Yeah. Um, all right, let's let's move on to uh, bigger and better things. This is the uh, trailer for Mayor Pete, mm. a documentary. Mm. 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 Uh, How much of this did they have in the can before they realized? Uh, oh, we actually we have we have to like put this movie out. Yeah, before they realized, oh, he is not at all inspiring or interesting no in he is one of the most milk toast <laughs> yeah can the only thing fucking ins- do nothing boring ass yeah. candidates the most it, inspiring it, thing about him is that he is proof that at least we've moved forward enough that a gay elected leader can be incredibly boring and disappointing yeah. like that like i just don't care about his journey <laughs> like right i, I speak I like, to some it, progress when yeah. i saw this trailer i was like oh right yeah. Like I forgot about him. It's like if they made a Tim Kaine documentary. Yeah, you know? it really, yeah. it really is. Like yeah. it really is. Except Tim Kaine yeah. is like more accomplishments. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, the inspiring like, story of a guy who quit being mayor to do a job say... that I can't tell you a single accomplishment he's had. 
Yeah. He, he was mayor for one term. <laughs> yeah, and then secretary of transportation. And again, uh, I challenge you to name a thing he's done. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, uh, yeah. Now, can you imagine a fate worse than having to edit and like no. put together Pete this documentary? documentary? No, every Cutting morning together they a trailer of the Mayor Pete documentary yeah. to try I to knew- like a sizzle reel. <laughs> yeah, they have to keep a heart rate monitor on the editors to make sure they haven't hung themselves in the night going through <laughs> dailies. It's just, oh, I mean, bless this, him. He's just the dullest human yeah, being. Yeah, I just this. This trailer was originally the first cut of the film. Yeah. They were like, we have about three minutes. Yeah, like, yeah we're going to need a lot more. Yeah, we're going to need like, some God more damn. Three, uh, this, did you know that you only made a three minute movie? No, no, it's 90 minutes. No, it's it's three. <laughs> it we, feels, we count it. Oh. <laughs> really? It feels much longer. <laughs> yeah. It's Mayor uh, Pete. Yeah. It's. Uh, we're going to have to do a double feature this and Fauci. Yeah, oh, I God. couldn't be less interested about either. They both seem yeah. completely interminable. Although yes. at least Fauci's job is interesting. Yeah. Like right. being the guy he is during a pandemic. Yeah, that's a story. Mayor Pete is just a huh. mayor. Yeah. yeah. Now does mayor an even Pete. more boring job. It's it's like it's like making a documentary about the bystander of a famous event. Yeah. Right. Yeah, like, like somebody who was getting a, a sandwich at McDonald's a block away from John Hinckley shooting Reagan. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like, exactly. Sandwich. Yeah. So I was eating my sandwich, and then I looked up. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of guys. Yeah, I didn't know what it was li- about until later in the night. <laughs> anyway. He's on Twitter now, John Hinckley. He, sh- he sure is. Damn um, right he is. He's got uh, me as a follower. My new life goal is to engineer an interaction between him and the Taliban, because that <laughs> that would be perfect. Just getting John Hinckley to chat with the Taliban on fucking Twitter. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, conversations. That is, uh, man, the internet is weird. Yeah. It's very weird, yeah. So anyway, uh, that's the Mayor Pete documentary. Yeah, yeah. Also, out of context. Oh shit. Yeah. A movie called Mayor Pete sounds like like a '90s like Polly right. Shore comedy yeah. or something yeah. when he becomes mayor, or like a Dave, like the movie Dave, yeah, like, like the, the movie, movie Dave. Dave. Yeah. Um. All right. Next trailer. This is for Great White. Mm. Uh, this doesn't this, even have that many I'm views. I'm not sure I just why you put it because this it. has been available to rent on Amazon yeah. for a couple of months now. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, I think I it mean, just it just it just now moved to yeah. Shudder. I was like, ooh, a shark movie. Yeah, it just now moved to Shudder, yeah. so I think that's why you picked it up. Yeah, I think it. If you want to watch a movie about people stranded in the water and great whites attacking them, this seems perfectly competent from what I can uh, tell. I w- it seems like I would a argue shark, shark attack movie. If you want to watch a movie of people getting attacked by stock footage of sharks. Yes. I, I get oh, that it? impression there's, from there's it. A, the final shot of the trailer is a badly spliced together oh. <laughs> image of a, a okay. stock footage I of a shark. Perhaps should not have said competent, but it's very <laughs> boring. It might be a good movie, but, you know, prob- statistically, yeah. it isn't. I mean, maybe. Uh, Who knows? It's a bunch of people. The premise is interesting enough. It's a bunch of people touch down in a seaplane to do sightseeing, and then a shark fucking sinks their plane. Yeah. <laughs> now I, we're boned. But, like, they're fucking, yeah. But, like, I guess what I'm curious is, is what incentive does they do they have? And I'm sure they'll have something in the movie, I guess, that I could watch at any point. Uh, why are they getting out of the life raft? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like. I don't, I don't know. know. They they seem to be diving a lot, yeah. and I think maybe there's like a shipwreck or how, something. How does the shark like? Because they, they say the plane is sinking because the shark hit it, but like, t- take off? <laughs> like, did the shark take rip off. the wings off? It is right. Plane. Like the shark, the shark we see in the trailer, it bites like its little landing foot. Yeah, like, that's of, not like, going to bring the plane down. Like, it <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah. It is an aircraft. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure there's an explanation. Fly. Yeah, but it this is seems going, dumb. Yeah, it's going back to the theory that the the. The reason Jaws happens, the the climax, is because they're just so drunk. Mm -hmm. Like, it shouldn't be ever hard to deal with a great white shark if you have a boat or a plane. Yeah. So, like, a lot of these shark movies have to deal with, like... Like just people like man, we really can't handle this shark. Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's the yeah, yeah. That's why like the shallows worked because it was about stranding somebody with no resources. And yeah, yeah. There's this fucking pissed off dickhead yeah. shark I got to deal with. And right. I I think we can all agree that of the different kinds of ways you can make an interesting shark movie, 
everyone is so drunk that there may in fact not actually be a shark, as, yeah. as Tom once posited, is the best. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's the. Uh, um, I think uh, Robert, your 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 BFF Paul F. Tompkins once said, uh, "So how many good shark movies? Is it still just yeah. the one? <laughs> it's still yeah. just the one." <laughs> yeah. Oh man, and the answer is yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Well, I, I really think there's uh, certain factors, which is one, all shark movies are kind of have to be the same. To be a shark, it has to be, we're in the ocean, well, how do we deal with these sharks? Unless uh, you have Roy Scheider, in which yes. case you have a magical movie. Or you have right. Michael Caine and uh, that, and you make that lady. Jaws 4. Yeah, yeah. From Jaws Lorraine 4, Gary, which is also a Mario very, Van Peebles. And a unique Terrific shark film. movie. It is. Yeah. It is a singular shark film. <laughs> Just another cool, um, calm, tickly day in the Bahamas. That line is burnt <laughs> into my brain. My cousins and I watched that movie like 30 times. That is uh, a thing he says he in the sure film. He sure does. Great film. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's get on to the Cowboy Bebop trailer. Uh, the live action Cowboy yeah, Bebop yeah. trailer. Yeah. I, I never watched the show. Yeah, all I can I. say is this trailer is fucking amazing. Yeah, this is incredible. Um... I, it's I, almost exhausting. But I yeah. assume yeah. the movie, the actual show, will not look like this in the same. Like I'm sure there will be pieces of this. I assume they're not going to be doing like the panels flipping around thing as often as in the trailer because that would be yeah. disorienting and exhausting. But I think it seems like this was yeah, yeah made for the trailer. Yeah, but it it doesn't look like anything I've ever seen, which is what I want to see. Yeah. yeah, and so I'm excited that somebody seems to have tried to do something completely unique with a with a thing and as a trailer they see they know how to actually function as a trailer too which mm -hmm. is that they're selling you on this style yeah mm -hmm. That's and then they wants, know baby. yeah yeah and then they know what to like slowly reveal like the ending shot of being like yeah also it's like an aircraft also it's, yeah, also space. they're on they're in the fucking spaceship. space yeah. yeah yeah and it's like oh okay well, and i think what i like about this too is that like i think they it seems like they took the idea of like well let's just let's not tell them what the movie's going to be about. Let's have a little self-contained story in the trailer that gives them an idea of like, here's what you're going to get or the show. Yeah. Like, here's the, here's how this is going to feel. Here's like the kind of stories you're going to get, which is neat. And the be I, it's the best trailer I've seen in a while. Um, it really it, is. Yeah. It was yeah. really, yeah. As, uh, this, I know nothing about the series. Not except a single the, thing. The, the vague concept that they're bounty hunters in space. Uh, sure. But this yeah. trailer uh, And is... one of them owns the same handgun I do. Oh, nice! Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, yeah. This, the, this trailer the is black excellent. Dude as a Chiapa rhino, which is a very fun, very fun. Yeah, movie. yeah. Was also I, I will the... say. Sorry. Oh no! I was just gonna say I've technically seen this show. I was just it was just Adult Swim, and I was so high yeah, that I was yeah. like slowing down time. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I don't know. Like I, I was eyes... entering time dilation. Yeah. Yeah. My eyes have <laughs> witnessed this show, but my brain certainly didn't. Yeah, uh, I I can't watch the animes. I don't know why, but like my I have some sort of weird neurological disorder where I just kind of like dial tone uh, something about the animation. I just can't get into. It. I've never been able to get into one other than a little bit berserk. But um, yeah, I'm I'm similar. Where it, yeah. it it I recognize that they're good. Yeah, of course. Uh, my brain just has trouble with them, uh, and I don't know. I don't know what exactly it is. Uh, it's something about the tone or something like I'll watch mo anime movies, uh, but like series, it's just I can't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been able to. And, but but this I probably will. Um, I probably will uh, uh, watch this because it looks yeah. neat. Although if it is this exact kind of pace, the entire movie, it, I'm sure it it's will give me a headache. Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll have to tap out, but I don't. Yeah. I don't think it will. I don't be. think no. It's, see, this is too competent for the show to have made a, a mistake like that. Yeah, I think this trailer is just mm -hmm. a really solid proof of concept. Yeah. They just want us. They wanted everyone to know out the gate. This is not going to look like the other shit coming out. We we've done something different, and that's. Great. I do think they're gonna. Yeah, I I think the show will be a slowed down version of this. Yeah, yeah. Like they're gonna shoot it this way and edit it this way. It's just gonna be. Slower a little and easier to follow, yeah. Yeah, for sure. We need to be, but but I like that they want us to know we're not doing the same thing as everybody else. Right. Uh all right, let's let's you you're all waiting for it. Mm -hmm. Uh let's talk about the uncharted trailer. 
Woo! Yeah, this looks fun. Yeah, Robert, I'm have you into played the this. Games? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, the kind of movie that I always want to see the most. It's like you know, Indiana Jones or The Mummy. Uh, you've got adventurer, travels around the world, solves archaeological-ish mystery, old maps, traps. Uh, yeah, baby, that's all I want. I don't give a shit. I've never played the games. I don't care to play the games. Uh, okay. I'll watch this shit. Yeah. I w- they were smart. Mm. Uh, many of the scenes in this are pulled directly from the games. Yeah, sure. the cargo plane specifically, sure. or most notably. Yeah, and then him ha- doing the hacking and the, and then the brother thing. Uh, it's uh, as always when you see Mark Wahlberg, it go, my thoughts go, "Oh, uh, that's, that's a Mark shame. Wahlberg." Yeah, unfortunate. yeah. It's, that's the only that's the only ding I have against this trailer. To be perfectly honest, is I don't think as just as a fan of the games, yeah. I don't think Mark Wahlberg is right for that character of what, to play Sully. What, but uh, yeah. the rest of this the rest of this movie look this trailer looks yeah. delightful. I'm like, first Robert. There was a f- oh, fan sorry. movie right where like Nathan yeah. Fillion played him years back, mm-hmm. right? And um, uh, yeah. Stephen Lang played Sully. Yeah, and I, I agree. Nathan Fillion, like the ideal casting for this is Nathan Fillion eight years ago. Um, right. I think that's part of what's really smart about this is they've cast Tom Holland as like a young Drake, and yeah. it's kind of a and we all know he's going to grow up into Nathan. Fillion. Exactly. Yeah. So they can so make right. three or four more of these mm-hmm. over the next ten years, and yes. it'll make sense. And it'll be just that... in time for the Firefly reboot. <laughs> right. Th- so that that is that isn't bad, but mm-hmm. like. So, Sully. If you if you Google a picture of Sully, yeah, he is an old man with a mustache. He's supposed to be like a Sam, um, not Sam Neil, the other one. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott yeah. is like the, like Sam Elliott circa Lebowski is the ideal what, casting for that. What guy. scares me is there's been posted pictures of Mark Wahlberg with the mustache, and I don't know if those were photoshopped. They look like they're candid pictures he took, and in the trailer he doesn't have a mustache. So are they like we need to answer the question of how he got the mustache? Like, are they going to pull something mm-hmm. like that? Do they think that's something we need to know? Is how know. Sully might, got his just, mustache? It might just be a fun thing that they throw in, like maybe in an end scene he has a mustache and they ri- they like rib him about it or something. I don't know. Yeah, that I hope it's that. I hope it's as simple as that. I mean, I don't really think it's going to be the the untold story of how he got his mustache. It would be <laughs> fun. Who can I say hope it's all about movie. that. <laughs> but yeah, who can say? I hope they open the treasure chest, yeah. chest and a mustache, and a mustache comes out. Like Magellan out. was sailing yeah. across the, yeah. the, the ocean. Treasure of Magellan's mustache. Yeah. It's just a mustache. I mean, uh, for the that record, would be, I'm ho- That would be worth it. That would be funny <laughs> enough that I would buy several tickets. For the record, I'm holding back here. You all know how I feel about treasure hunting movies. Mm-hmm. This is I love treasure. This is yeah, yeah. This is the greatest no. thing that's ever happened to yeah. me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is, everything is coming up, Dave. <laughs> mm-hmm. I I can't fucking wait to watch this bullshit. Yeah, no, Dave, I'm, Dave uh, watched 100%. this trailer and saw the face of God. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's I love the fucking National Treasure movies, although they're my least favorite of this genre. Um, right. Yeah, the Mummy. I I rewatch constantly um oh yeah yeah let's let's do it let's the have indiana jones of course the indiana jones yeah indiana's jones the indiana's jones indiana's yeah, jones. yeah. Um, yeah. Um, sounds great yeah i'll watch this I, shit I, yeah i hope there's 30 of these yeah like, yeah, they're yeah. Like James why not? Bond. give us a new one every year like i don't give a yeah. shit <laughs> yeah. beat me to death yeah. with these unsure that's yeah. this is what i need yeah. i don't need another st- my I need... cock with this movie <laughs> yeah uh-huh hammer here's what you my do. fucking balls yeah. with here's, these movies yeah. force here's me into do. a you have... chair cut the bottom <laughs> out get a sack full of nickels <laughs> and swing it up under my crotch with this type of movie absolutely no what they need they need 12 separate crews and we need one a month sure for the rest of time. Absolutely. I was going to say, so like a this rotating is... where they each have a year every time to yeah, make a new this one. Is, this is what we actually, we don't need a new Star Wars movie yeah. every every year. We need a new Uncharted movie. Every we just year. need a new treasure hunty Indiana Jones style movie. It, it, when, when those are competently done, I'm never not in the mood to watch that kind yeah. of shit. Yeah. That is, I will say that is my one hesitation and it, it, it doesn't really, it has nothing to do with the, like, the problem is that the trailer doesn't have an opportunity for it. You don't really see action that isn't big CGI in this. Like, I, I, I want to know what their short game is, what they're, like, fist fighting and, and, and like, little, like, how how much practical action they work into this. Obviously, the, the plane scene, it's like you can't really do that unless, 
you know, unless you put a lot, you're Christopher Nolan and shit. Mm. But like, I, I just, I'm curious to know what the non big spectacle action will look like. The car chases, the, the doing puzzles and stunts and jumping around. Mm. So uh, I, 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 obviously I'm rock hard for this, yeah. uh, but I still have a lot of questions. Uh, uh, that ultimately it doesn't matter as long as they treasure hunt. Mm-hmm. As long as they give me that treasure hunt and catnip. Yeah, baby. yeah, and solve big stupid puzzles. Like the worst thing they could do is not do that. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Uncharted. Uh, should we get into news stories? I think we should. Bum bum. All right. Ba-da-dum, bum bum. That was the news. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Sound, yeah. Uh, we got we got some more producers to thank real quick. Uh, thank you to Kool Aid Molotov says COVID and Greg Abbott can both fuck off. Support reproductive rights, comrades. Mm. Uh, thank you to E. T. the extravagant terrestrial. Thank you to Cody Johnston's time machine noise. Uh, thank you to Pete for Pagel. Thank you to Glitterous CFO of Michael Shannon's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> thank you to subscribe to Jason Pargin's Substack. Thank you to the Midnight Patron with Patrons at Midnight. Thank you. All right, let me jump in here. Thank you to Exploding Runes. Thank you. Thank you to Andrew McAndrew Howe, Guire Howe. Thank you. Thank you to Vincent with a Y. Thank you. Thank you to RevMD. Thank you. Thank you to Dr. DNA. Thank you. Thank you to Lauren Gucci. Thank you. And thank you to Bootler Bootlison. Woo. All right. Uh, this fucking piece of shit look, news. Look, since we're doing yeah. the news, Tom and Dave and Aaron Sorkin's uh-huh. on this, I just wanted you both to know that our armed forces killed Osama bin Laden for you tonight. Oh. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We reported Thanks. the news. Yeah, good news. <laughs> good, news. <laughs> good news. Your duty has been fulfilled. Yeah. Uh, so Mel Gibson is cast in the John Wick prequel series, uh, The Continental, uh, uh, which sure. I believe doesn't, it, it doesn't have Keanu Reeves in it, does it? No. Oh. No. Oh. So what they said is they're like, you know what we need for John Wick? Not Keanu Reeves and Mel Gibson. And Mel Gibson. Yeah, you know how it's this a, series is based largely on the charisma of a man everybody likes because he's thoroughly nice? Yeah. <laughs> now it's Mel Gibson yeah. time. What if we did yeah. the complete opposite of that? Yeah. yeah. What if we brought in so, a Holocaust denier? Now, yeah. he's, I'm, I'm sure he's going to be a villain of some yeah, kind, yeah. I mean, he's but still. But still. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, we don't need Mel Gibson. We don't Gibson need Mel Gibson. Nope. <laughs> Like he's not, like, what what is happening there? Yeah. Like, cause his movies that he's putting out, uh, still they aren't like drawing a huge crowd, right? No. So, no. my guess, We're my guess is that with him, yeah, we've yeah. been done with him for a while yeah. now. <laughs> it's my guess is that, like you said, Tom, he's a villain, and he's probably also not in it that much. Mm-hmm. That's my, I guess, hope. And that, so we we saw this casting news, and of course everybody broadcasts it, and it still doesn't justify it. No, it's just no. like, I don't think they would be like, yeah, let's get Mel. Everybody loves Mel. Put him front and center. It's just, yeah, why? Why? Yep. Yeah, why? Yeah. I mean, again, if you wanted to make this exciting, just uh, instead of him, throw in Werner Herzog again. Yeah! Mandalorian proof, we'll watch Werner Herzog be a bad guy in anything. Absolutely. Like, also, I would say this series with or without Mel Gibson, I'm just like, yeah. I don't think this is what people watch John Wick for. No. Uh, no, those not movies at all. It, are hinged yeah. entirely on Keanu Reeves. Yeah, doing cool action. Yeah. Doing all the cool action, yeah. We don't care about the lore, yeah. the continental no, stuff. No, it's, it's like, no. It's very silly when you think about it for more than a quarter of a second. And thankfully, the John Wick movies move quick enough that you don't generally need to. Yes. Yeah, exactly. To do a series where there probably isn't going to be that much action, mm-hmm. or not the same caliber of action. Certainly not. Well, and, it's. I think it's only a three episode. Like it's a very limited series. Oh, so, wow. So they may, because otherwise, why even do it, right? Because the John right. Wick sequel is known for Keanu Reeves and uh, incredibly impressive, tightly choreographed action. Right. This reminds me of that. The the. The Army of Thieves or whatever on Netflix did that yes. come out? Not not yet, but soon. Yeah, where they did the Zack Snyder zombie movie, and they're like, you know what, we should spin off the part that was the least interesting uh, and make it a prequel. And it's like, I guess, sure, sure. yeah, 
Yeah, uh, it's just this frustrating thing that is like all of Hollywood now, where it's like, well, this made money, so we have to, we have to make a series about it. We have to do a prequel. We have to like, it made money, so right. you have to keep doing versions of it, even if you're taking the least interesting thing about that. Yeah, and John Wick is it's it's both things where it's like John Wick is self contained. Mm -hmm. Uh it but but in that sense, much like, like the, the dread movie and stuff, you can make a million of them. You just have to keep going in that direction. Yeah. Uh you it's one of the rare times where they're like, We can just do the same thing over and over again and people will watch it as long as the stunts are there and fun and escalate. You yeah, know? they escalate in John Wick. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's like going to the circus. It's just <laughs> like we don't need like we don't need anything new or special. We just want to see the things, the spectacle. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Although if they um, if they figure out a way to start shooting elephants out of cannons, then that would be sick. Then, could... then I might go to the circus. Or if all of his enemies are just elephants, and it's just Keanu Reeves killing increasingly <laughs> large numbers of elephants. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Just an upsetting number of yeah, elephants. Like, yeah, like, like really doing damage to the species. <laughs> Elephants just minding their own business. Yeah. yeah, no plot. I'm thinking I'm back. Just fucking <laughs> mowing down elephants. They're not doing yeah. anything. They're not even. They don't even know he's with there. A machine gun, yeah. just shooting them from a quarter mile away. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck it! Why not? Yeah. yeah. Uh, next piece of news: Emily Blunt is uh, going to be in Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer movie. This was mainly me learning that there's yeah, an Oppenheimer yeah. movie that Christopher Nolan is doing. Yeah, starring Killian Murphy as Oppenheimer. Oh, oh yeah, that makes sense. Does it? Mm -hmm. Wait, let me. Because it's Nolan, it makes sense. Oh. It's it makes Nolan. sense because it's Nolan. Yeah. Yeah, because if Killian Murphy is the person I think it is, that's Scarecrow. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, it's a Scarecrow. Weird yeah. Pick for Oppenheimer. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> huh. I mean, Oppenheimer was kind of a scarecrow-looking motherfucker. Yeah, it's an this is energy thing. I don't know. We'll see. This is weird. Yeah, this is weird for Christopher Nolan. This is new for him. Which you know, maybe he'll kill it. You know, maybe like a a biopic, like a historical thing, a it's drama, not mm -hmm. a drama. Yeah, it's not really a what historical he's historical biopic drama. But honestly, I it might be a good move for him because he is sort of like typecast as a director now. Where it's like he has to do some like stupid right. sci-fi and like his thing. best his his best movies in my opinion were the small I mean this I don't know uh, like I like his smaller more personal focused stuff like Memento and yeah. the Prestige yeah even yeah. though the Prestige is a is a huge idea it's still just about two bitchy it's magicians magician fight. yeah yeah <laughs> in a fight a magician shitty magician fight yeah yep. yeah so like. I don't know. This this could be uh, he's really hit, good. He's hitting his he's hitting his Steven Spielberg mid eighties phase, where it's like, yeah. okay, I want to break away from all I make are blockbusters. I gotta, I, I want to do something that's different. Right. Of course, he's committed to practical effects, so he's going to set off an actual nuclear bomb for this one. Yeah, that that's, would be uh, that would be pretty sick. Yeah. The, of course he is. You know he's mm. gotta. And so he's gonna st he's gonna shove the Emily Blunt safely in a refrigerator. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There, there's no news to report here except no. Neat. Just he's assembling the cast. The movie's not due until 2023. We're, we'll be taught. We'll be giving updates on this film for a while. I think. Yeah. In the yeah. Well, I I I can't tell if I'm interested in it because I can't. I, there's not enough here to know the tone. I guess like it's a drama, but I. I'm very curious as to whether or not it's going to be just kind of a straightforward, we got to get the bomb because World War II, or if it's going to be like kind of a more nuanced, like if it's going to be like, like Oppenheimer was, a more nuanced question about like the role of science in human conflict and like right. the ethics of serving a nation as a scientist in a situation in which that may doom a large number of people. Like I, do, I just don't know. It, it could be because Christopher Nolan's certainly capable of making the version of this that's the most interesting to me, but I just don't know if that's kind of going to be the, the route they take. Yeah, and I know where you're heading yeah. here where it's it the former feels more likely yeah, for Nolan, and that's the less interesting version where it's like it's not a judgment on the bomb or like the emotional impact. It's just like a thriller uh, or something like that. He I don't also, know. He also doesn't understand how humans work yeah. or, or behave. Like his character. Yeah. He's yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see. 
Um, here's something. Mel Brooks is going to write and produce a History of the World Part Hell Two. Hell yeah, he is. As a variety as series. As a variety series. That's great. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no notes. notes. <laughs> <laughs> Zero note man is 95, I, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, honestly, they just said, could have said, uh, fucking Netflix gave Mel Brooks $70 million to make a thing. And I'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> fucking do it. But, um, yeah, this is, yeah, man. I'm very excited because hopefully we actually do get Hitler on ice and Jews <laughs> in space. <laughs> we better. Oh, We've been waiting man. a yeah, long this time. Is, this is exciting yeah. in a lot of like because also the people they're going to get involved in oh, this. God, he can pretty a- much anyone. pick anybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anybody, any single person yeah. alive, yeah. Mel Brooks could get into yeah. this. Yeah. There's no one. They, the Taliban would show up. Like, yeah, of course, <laughs> <laughs> it's Mel Brooks. <laughs> well, obviously, it's Mel Brooks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, this. I, I don't know. It's it's exciting yeah. news. Don't die, Mel Brooks. Yeah, please stay alive. I mean, in general, yeah. that's good. But especially, <laughs> I assume he's gonna try. Let's, yeah. Let's. I mean, he's doing great so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's killing it. Um, yeah, I'm I'm very excited. I mean, the fact that this is happening at all is kind of a miracle. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, t- I I don't. Uh, this is the wrong phrasing. It's more like I didn't know I needed it. You know, like obviously the joke at the end of History of the World was there's no part there two. There is no part yeah. two. Yeah, that's the uh, game. Yeah. And and so it's like it's not something I asked for mm-hmm. and technically needed. Never expected. And I'm so it. happy it's yeah. happening. Yeah. Uh yeah. Out of it's fucking great. Yeah. Really, really yeah. psyched that this might happen. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's it for news. Let's name a few more producers. Let's here. do it. A uh, big thank you to Tux. Woo. Thank you, Tux. Thank you to Ricky Cilantro. Thank you to Norm from Cheers. Thank you to Space McNulty. Thank you to, oh, great, it's that guy. Thank you to Nolan Mayton. Thank you to Andrew. Andrew, how, how dare you, McGuire? <laughs> it continues. Thank you to AJ. Uh, thank you to Tip Drizzle. Uh, let me jump in here. Thank you to Burrito Mouth. Thank you. Thank you to Mrs. Voidus. Thank you. Thank you to the ghost of Dave Thomas. Thank you. Thank you to the ghost of Aaron Burser. Thank <laughs> the you. The ghost of you Aaron Burser. Ghost? I did. Is that a threat on yeah, Aaron Burser? Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, thank you to David Knife Boot. Knife Boot. NBA CPA. Thank you to Christopher Robert Sparts Esquire. Thank you. Thank you to Mackenzie Fuck Shuffling with Willem Dafoe's Confusingly Large Dick Chill. Thank you. Thank you to Funky J. Thank you. Thank you to Pie Guy. Thank you. Oh, Delicious I, I'm, pie guy. I'm glad we've reached the level of success where our producers are having are doing bits with each other. Mm. Yeah. And the shout outs. Yeah, we are their vessels for yeah. their bits. Um, speaking of bits, Dave. What? Shut the fuck up for five what? seconds. Tom, this is a totally organic conversation we're having. And tell me, you what? goddamn bastard, <laughs> if you have a movie that deserves more hype. Oh, I do. I do. Oh, thank because I I thought for a minute you you didn't have one. Yeah. And the show would uh, have been ruined, mm-hmm. quite yeah, frankly. I do want to do a- I would have left immediately and destroyed the recording of my audio yeah <laughs> just savagely eating it as i walk out i do want to do a quick um fo- follow-up uh-huh. on one of my previous oh, ones yeah. called the medium which is indonesian i think it's about shamans and it's a possession movie we talked about it a, a few a couple weeks ago, yeah. ago i watched it and it's fucking terrifying oh, good. uh yeah it's a little slow but like it's a it's Man, it it all seems hinged on one actress who is like Linda Blair level fucking possession performance. She's never been in anything oh, else. Man. I looked her up. Yeah, and so it's like a fake documentary, and it, it's on Shutter, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just check it out. It's it's really it's really fucking creepy. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about a movie called The Feast. This is a movie coming out November 19th. It's mm-hmm. got about an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. Um, it's about a... It's it's Welsh. Uh, it's about a rich family who is hosting a dinner party, and they hire a, a young woman to be, I guess, like a servant. Mm-hmm. Um, and from what I can tell, the woman is... They, they do a lot of hunting, and the woman is uh, not happy with them killing animals. Uh, and it sure seems like she's going to do something to their food. Oh, cool. Uh, and more. 
she has like it, it's a lot of the a lot of the label is eco horror, which I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's uh, a thing, but like, okay. Yeah. Daily life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, it seems to. It's also had a lot of comparisons to like fairy tales. I think the idea is that she's almost like a fairy tale character. She has a connection to nature, uh, and so it hurts her to watch what they're doing, and she has to get revenge or something. It's the trailer is not entirely clear, but that's it's definitely that she's. It's called the feast, and like shit's gonna go down. <laughs> Uh, between this woman and this family related to food and animals and Lord knows what's going to happen. It's a super unnerving trailer. It's a very unnerving trailer, yeah. Um, Uh, I'm intrigued. I'm going to watch the fuck out of this. Yeah, me too. Yeah. What do you think, Robert? No notes. Seems I'm not going to not going to watch it, but it seems uh, seems fine. (laughs) It seems like what uh, is going to make some people happy. Yeah? Yeah. Are you not horror? Do you like horror? No, What's your horror? Not often. You know, I love Herbert West Reanimator. We watched that one together. I like I like some horror oh, movies, sure. but I don't I'm not really like a big horror guy. Certainly not like a, yeah. a jump scare. I like cosmic horror a lot, so like I'll I'll fuck with that whenever I can come across it, but not so into I, the, the the jump scares, the slashers, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not a big jump scare person either. It's uh it it become it like triggers anxiety, especially the older I get. Yeah. But like, I just I I'm a big fan of when something scares me in a way that it hasn't scared yeah. me before. I I watch in general movies to have the experience. Oh, that's neat. And so like cosmic horror, I get that experience a lot. Like oh, that's a neat monster. Oh, that's a neat idea. Um, yeah. And I just don't really get that out of a lot of horror movies, which is nothing against them. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. To to go back to the medium, there was there's a moment in the medium that made me react like oh fuck oh fuck like one of those where it's like it's not a jump scare it's just a visual thing they're doing that's just like oh god damn it stop it uh, but it was like impressive you know I, I I when it's impressively unnerving that's there's something about that that's great I think there's elements of that in this trailer for the feast too yeah like, there's yeah. a lot of like really grotesque shots of the food being prepared and just like this this movie looks disgusting to yeah. be honest mm-hmm. it, this movie looks like it's gonna really mm-hmm. really upset some people yeah well it's just in time for 19 days after halloween that's true yeah yeah Yeah. you know what it's the scariest time of year i just watched Mm -hmm. a halloween movie that people should watch that's very old that i'm sure a number of you have seen i'm sure you both have seen it Uh, but i had never seen witches of eastwick uh which is fucking great and by george miller it's george miller yeah i didn't i had no idea he i thought it was just like yeah the mad max movies and like happy feet and babe but no he did fucking Witches yeah. of Eastwick, which is a real, a pretty incredible, I mean, shares in it, but is also largely a vehicle to let Jack Nicholson devour every piece of scenery within a mile of him. Um, yeah. Right, as as any movie with yeah, him yeah, should be. Just fucking great. Um, when you nice. when you cast Jack Nicholson as the devil, yeah. you're, you're really yeah. on to something. <laughs> you're, you're, you're everything I want. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's probably my second favorite devil next to the the original guy who played the devil in a the first bedazzled the british one um oh yeah, yeah. who is yeah. that guy he's, he's great fucking incredible i yeah. love his little i love his yeah. outfit yeah in that. everything about that movie is perfect um, yeah i got uh, now i want to watch bedazzled, yeah, bedazzled again. uh if you have have yourself at home have yourself a devil twofer watch the bedazzled and witches of eastwick you will be very happy with your night and then watch the bedazzled remake no, and get no, yourself no. a bedazzled yeah, sandwich don't don't watch that that's not necessary. <laughs> but if you want to watch pe- Brendan Fraser, watch The Mummy. Perfect Halloween yeah. night right there. Three movies. Yeah. It's Peter Cook plays Peter Cook. the devil. Peter Cook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, He's check out the trailer for uh, the, feast the Feast. And the original Bedazzled and The Medium, uh, anything, and Witches of Eastwick. Those. That's that's what we're at, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where we have arrived. Tom, you want to throw in a movie? Uh, watch Terrified. No, that's okay. a good title. It's this uh, uh, Argentinian horror film uh, that's on Shudder. It uh, fucked me right up. Fucked me to Ooh. pieces. So <laughs> Fuck yourself to pieces this Halloween that's season. That's right. Yep. And Babe 2, Pig in the yeah. City. Babe 2, Pig in the yeah. City. <laughs> Throw it in there. Robert, have you seen that? Oh, yeah. 
And in fact, okay, my favorite thing to do, it's kind of like a Dark Side of the Moon, uh, uh, Wizard of Oz thing. You play pig mm-hmm. to, Babe to a Pig in the City, but you cut out the audio and you replace it with the audio from Fury Road. Syncs up perfectly. Mm. Perfectly. Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh guys, that's a sewed. Woo. We've done it. We did a sewed. <laughs> oh, a Robert, thank sewed. you so much for being on the show, man. Thank you for yeah, being on you. the show also, but in a more general sense because I like listening to mm-hmm. it. So, yeah. oh, I mm-hmm. had to be here, so really it's you that deserves all the thanks. Uh what do you want to tell people? What do you got going on? Where can they find uh, you, etc.? I have a novel. It, you can find it at atrbook.com or you can find the the podcast audiobook version of After the Revolution, it's going to be out early next year as like a, a real print book from a publisher. So, uh, so, so buy it, motherfuckers. That's exciting. Sorry for calling your that. audience motherfuckers, guys. No, yeah, no, they, they like it. They, they like it. the yeah. abuse. Yeah, they oh, love man, it. They, they love deserve it. it. Motherfuckers. <laughs> we get so many emails and comments that just say, hurt mm-hmm. me, daddy. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, it's weird, yeah. but, yeah. you know. It is what it yeah. is. Yeah, you know, the heart wants what it wants. And it wants to be mm-hmm. berated. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, ch- everybody, check that shit out. That's gonna be that's gonna be awesome. And Dave, um, Dave, why don't you tell us tell them about uh, I was our about stuff? To. All right, all right. Sorry. Listen, folks, we have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash gamefully unemployed. You go on there. You pay. You pay five dollars a month. You can $5. get all sorts of exclusive podcasts like Tom and Jeff watch Batman. Fox Mulder is a maniac. Star Trek: The Next Futurama, and our brand new Spiel Boys. Spiel Boys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> those are all exclusives. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh my God, that was so fucking yeah, good. Yeah, that, that really worked out perfectly. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that was that was that a was, lot of fun. That was pure love. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you guys should check that out uh we also have a store uh head on over to gamefullyunemployed.com you can find a link to our teespring store where we have all kinds of cool original artwork uh and designs for all of our shows you can get on t-shirts mugs stickers posters anything you want yes you lucky ducks so we have a new one out. which is uh, a shirt of Mulder, Fox Mulder punching E.T. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and screaming, where's my sister? Yeah, just, just fucking detonating his face mm-hmm. so hard, mm-hmm. the Reese's Pieces just fly everywhere. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's what I want out of life. Art. Yeah. That's what Period. America wants. Also, sex. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Punctuation to follow. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, I think we can be done. Say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Our music is produced by Chris Corlew. You can follow him on Twitter at at the Corlew, C-O-R-L-E-W, and find more music at shipwreckedsailor.bandcamp.com. Our artwork is produced by Justin Brown. You can follow him on Twitter at at Justin T. Brown, and find more of his artwork at artnessbyjustinbrown.com and justinbrown.info.